delete it what will happen to the liquid column we are more bothered about what will be the liquid column and how the free surface will align itself the same container the same container again the same situation just we are going to accelerate it now what changes we have to make here okay i'm i'm proposing like that this will be the liquid column will align its orientation in in this particular direction that one so the free surface will align itself like this and now it is accelerating the container is accelerating horizontally and in books there are around more than 20 numericals are there on this one not one to 20 numericals are there so it will make an angle theta with horizontal why do, why do the free surface and there is a free surface let's come for free surface what is the free surface like it's having a one natural property that one it will always align itself such that the tangential force should be zero on that one or shearing stress will be zero because when i say free surface in equilibrium free what is the free surface the topmost layer of liquid exposed to air or atmosphere and it will be of thickness of few molecular range and what is the nature of it it will always align itself in such a way that the tangential force should be zero or the shearing stress on it on the free surface will be zero now if you look at this take a small elemental volume of the fluid this is the elemental volume then what are the forces that is acting dm into a pseudo force the weight dmg now what is the property of the liquid it it has to align itself normal to the it will it, it should align itself normal to the free surface no the net force should be normal to the free surface so the df net will be in this direction this is theta this is theta 90 minus theta this will be theta and look at the free surface it will align itself perpendicular to the net force the so that what happen the forces along the free surface net force along the free surface should be zero let this be theta okay how do it will be zero let's check that one so what is the property of free surface the net force the net force on free surface along it must be zero this is one property of it or it will align itself normal to the net force here so based on that the net force on free surface along it must be zero so dma cos theta minus dmg sin theta equal to zero so therefore a equal to g tan theta or what is tan theta a by g this is one thing or 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 you can go for the triangle i i i prefer to write equation like this rather than in books they have shown like this this is dmg this is a dma this is theta then tan theta dma by dmg which is a by g so what is the orientation of that angle that angle theta depends upon the acceleration if acceleration of container becomes equal to g then theta will be 45 degrees so how much of the angle made by the free surface with horizontal that is theta who will determine that one acceleration of container ratio of acceleration of container to acceleration due to gravity okay let's come for some very important important things so earlier there is a point 192 so what is the pressure at 1 rho gh we will neglect atmospheric pressure so this was the point so shall i call this a front end and there's a rear end and let l be the length of the container l be the length of container <coughs> what about pressure at one so here the height it will be h1 
this will be h2 so from one observation i'm making triangle tan theta equal to h2 minus h1 by l and in fact this tan theta is what a by g so if you know h1 you can calculate the h2 will agree this there's a thing okay next one more thing uh, what about the pressure variation where the pressure will be more pressure at 2 will be more here so here we'll go for one more I, I, let me assume a small cylindrical column at the bottom of the container so there there that point one so the what, what is the property according to pascal's law or, or so like a, what is the basic property of the liquid <laughs> on which all surfaces it comes in contact it will exert force normally so here the pressure force will be p to a what is small a small or s will take it i'm i'm asking you to imagine a cylinder at the bottom where where here so p to s p1 s then so here this particular element will have a mass m and it is accelerating no according to the ground frame in the ground frame so what is the equation the person standing on the ground you will write p2s minus p1s equal to ma uh, why that cylindrical liquid column is moving because pressure at 2 is greater than pressure at 1 that's why it is accelerating the pressure force can accelerate as I, i wanted this one it can accelerate it can rotate it can do work it does positive work it does negative work it is, it possesses its, its own energy so p2s minus p1s equal to ma so what is p2 is equal to here rho g h2 what is p1 rho g h1 s what is m mass of the liquid present in the cylinder rho s l into a is i'm right or wrong see what all i'm doing is it right or wrong is what i'm trying to get that one so s will get cancelled rho will get cancelled so h2 minus h1 into g is equal to what we get it l a so h2 minus h1 by l is equal to ag same thing what we brought earlier from the geometry this is this is what what we have certain ideas so we will see that person on the ground will write this equation who will write this equation <coughs> person on the ground person on the ground he will write this equation this is a part of where is the cylinder sir i am not seeing cylinder the cylinder is somewhere here we are assuming it a big cylinder from 1 to 2 Uh, no uh, so therefore uh, shall we have something the pressure variation i'll i'll go back to the the other very important one so p2s minus p1s is equal to m what is m rho s l into a so p2 minus p1 equal to rho l you see one more manometric equation i'm bringing and this is equal to p2 is equal to p1 plus rho l so if a container accelerates i'll i'll show the complete discussion if a container accelerates so what will happen to pressure on horizontal line will be it will be different at different points so whatever pressure at 192 is equal now what will happen to pressure at 192 hard different here sir how do you can say that one you can look at this pressure at 2 is it greater than pressure at 1 as it is so shall we call this like a gauge pressure rho l instead of rho gh we are getting rho l so how to write manometric equation the similar way like uh, it, it should be like p1 plus rho l so if you move against the acceleration of container then this gauge pressure should be taken as positive so what is the writing manometric equation it should be like this p1 rho l a minus p2 equals 0 so what is the method of writing manometric equation where you begin pressure at 1 there then if you move against the acceleration of container the gauge pressure should be rho l a 
and where you end up should be negative equal to zero. Getting the idea? This how the pressure the pressure varies with the depth and also horizontal. Here the pressure varies only with the depth, whereas here pressure varies with depth and as well as the horizontal. And what is the pressure at various points? Let's take the. Let me shade that water. We can save time. Yeah, no. Now look at this. Uh, this is accelerating. So let, let, let's let's analyze once the pressure at various points. Okay, this in fact is accelerating. It's accelerating. I, I'm just interested in the pressure at all points on the free surface. Let's come for this one. Pressure at already we have took this as one. This is two. Let me take this is three. This is four. This is five. And somewhere here six. A pressure at three, four, five should be P naught only. Whether it's accelerating or whatever be that. Pressure at three. Four, five. It should be P naught exposed to atmosphere. Pressure at one. Okay, this is pressure at one depends upon this side. P one equal to P naught plus rho g h one. Hmm. Okay, fine. This pressure at four is P naught nu. So therefore, pressure at two should be equal to. P naught plus P four plus rho g h two. P four is how much? I'll write once again. Now we are coming for very generalized approach. Let this be h two. It makes an angle theta. Let it be here. Okay. This is about the pressures. What about the pressure at six? The pressure at six. It it here we have a. I can write in several ways. Sir. Pressure at six, we can write it as P three minus rho x a minus P six equal to zero. Writing manometric equation in accelerating container is what I'm showing it. Fine. So what is the thing? So pressure at P three plus rho x a minus P six equal to zero. So what is the pressure at pressure at three is equal to P naught to P naught plus rho x a equal to P six. That's the pressure at six. Or or so I'll write along y axis. Okay, right, no problem. That is, uh, then what what is the pressure at seven? P naught. Then P seven plus rho g y minus P six equal to zero. P seven is P naught. Now now question comes, which is right? 
I have one equation this, I have another equation. What is tan theta? If I am right, let me check it. Tan theta should be A by G, this we know it. Let me equate these two. So X A is equal to G Y. So A by G equal to Y by X. So this should be equal to tan theta. Nothing wrong, no? So when in, if a container is attached, okay, pressure varies only with depth. If the container actually, the pressure varies with the depth as well as with the, the distance from the front, front end. So this call like a front end of front side. This call like a rear side. Okay, got it? 